Hello everyone and welcome to today's video on Docker tutorial on IntelliPart. Do you know friends that Docker has gained immense popularity in the recent years due to its ability to simplify application deployment and management. As a result, the demand for Docker professionals has increased significantly. The future scope of Docker looks promising as more and more organizations are adopting containerization technology to simplify application deployment and management. Now before we move on and learn more about what exactly is Docker, do not forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon. So first, let's discuss our agenda first. We are going to start our session with an introduction to what is Docker. Then we are going to learn about Docker containers. Moving ahead, we are going to discuss the architecture of Docker. Then we are going to deep dive into advantages of using Docker. And at the end, we are going to conclude our session with installing Docker. So let's start with what is Docker. Do you know friends that Docker is an open source containerization platform that allows developers to build, package and deploy applications in a lightweight and portable environment. Docker containers are self-contained, isolated environments that can run on any infrastructure making it easy to move applications between development, testing and production environments. Docker archives containerization by using a client server architecture. The Docker client communicates with the Docker daemon, which manages the containers. Containers are built from images, which are templates that contain all the necessary components to run an application, including code, libraries, and system tools. Docker provides several benefits to the developers, including the portability, in which the containers can be easily moved between different environments, making it easy to run applications in the cloud or on-premises. Second one is consistency. Docker containers provide a consistent environment for running applications, thus making it easier to develop and deploy software across different environments. The third one you get is efficiency. Docker containers are kind of lightweight and efficient, thus making it possible to run multiple containers on the same machine without compromising the performance. The fourth one of using Docker is the scalability. Docker makes it easy to scale applications by adding or removing containers as needed for allowing better resource utilization and faster application delivery. The fifth one is security. Docker also provides several security features including isolation, sandboxing and access controls thus making it possible to run multiple applications securely on the same infrastructure. Docker has become a very popular platform for building and deploying applications in the cloud. It is widely used in DevOps where it is used to automate the application deployment process, manage infrastructure as a code ensure continuous delivery and integration of applications. With Docker being widely adopted, there will be a demand for skilled professionals who can manage and maintain Docker environments. Docker is expected to become an essential skill for software developers, system administrators and DevOps professionals in the coming years. Now let's move forward and understand what are containers. So if I talk about the Docker containers, they are built from the Docker images, which are templates that contain application code and it's all dependencies. Docker containers provide several benefits to the developers, which includes the first one is isolation. If I talk about the isolation, Docker containers are isolated from the host system and from containers, which provides a secure and consistent environment for running applications. The second one is portability. If I talk about the portability, Docker containers can run on any infrastructure, whether it is cloud or on premises, thus making it easy to move application between different environments. The third one is scalability. If I talk about scalability, Docker containers are lightweight and efficient, making it possible to run multiple containers on the same machine without compromising the performance. This scalability makes it possible to handle increasing traffic and user demand. The fourth one is consistency. Docker containers provide a consistent environment for running application, thus making it easier to develop and deploy software across different environments. This consistency reduces the likelihood of errors and makes it easier to troubleshoot issues. And the next is resource utilization and automation. Docker containers use fewer resources than traditional virtual machines, thus making it possible to run more containers on the same hardware. Docker containers can be automated using Docker Compose, which allows developers to define multi-container applications and Docker Swarm, which allows for orchestration of multiple Docker containers across a cluster of machine. Docker containers can be easily created, updated, and destroyed, thus making it easy to manage and maintain applications. Docker also provides several tools and services to manage containers, including Docker Hub, 
which is a cloud-based repository for Docker images, and Docker Compose, which allows developers to define and manage multi-container applications. In summary, if I would like to say, Docker containers are kind of lightweight, portable, and isolated environments that provide a secure and consistent environment for running applications. Docker containers provide several benefits including isolation, portability, scalability, consistency, resource utilization, and automation. Docker has become an essential tool for building, testing, and deploying applications on the cloud. Now let's discuss the architecture of Docker. The following image that we have right now is the architecture of a traditional virtualization in which we have guest OS, hypervisor, host OS, and the server. The server is kind of a physical server which is actually used to host multiple virtual machines. Whereas the host OS is a base machine such as your Linux or your Windows. If I talk about hypervisor, you can consider it something as VMware or Windows Hyper-V which is basically used to host virtual machines. You would also like to install multiple operating systems on the virtual machines on the top of the existing hypervisor as the guest OS. And then you would host your applications on each of the top of the guest OS. So this is the traditional architecture of the virtualization. If I talk about the architecture of Docker, so you would get something like this. Okay, so you have app, then you have Docker engine, then you have host OS, and then you have server. The server is same as the physical server, which is basically used to host multiple virtual machines, so that this layers actually remains the same. The host OS is the base machine, such as your Linux or Windows. So this layer also remains the same. Now comes the new part, which is the Docker engine. If I talk about the Docker engine, it is used to run operating system, which is earlier used to be virtual machines as Docker containers. And all of the apps now run on the Docker containers. This is a clear advantage in this architecture that even you don't need to have extra hardware for the guest OS, everything works as Docker containers. I hope so, you would have got a pretty good idea regarding the architecture of Docker. Now let's move forward and understand the advantages of using Docker. So here are some of the advantages of using Docker. The first one is the portability. If I talk about portability, Docker containers are self-contained in an isolated environment that can run on any infrastructure, thus making it easy to move application between different environments. This portability makes it possible to run the same application in development, testing and production environments without any changes. Second one is consistency. If I talk about the consistency, Docker containers provide a consistent environment for running application, thus making it easier to develop and deploy software across different environments. This consistency reduces the likelihood of errors and makes it easier to troubleshoot issues. Third one is the efficiency. If I talk about the Docker containers, they are actually lightweight, efficient, and thus making it possible to run multiple containers on the same machine without compromising the performance. This efficient use of resource makes it possible to scale applications easily and cost effectively. The fourth one is the security. If I talk about the security, Docker provides several security features including isolation, sandboxing, access control, thus making it possible to run multiple applications securely on the same infrastructure. This security also reduces the risk of cyber attacks and data breaches. Next you have reproducibility. Docker images are built from Docker file which is a script that specifies all the dependencies and configuration needed to run an application. This feature ensures that same application can be built and deployed consistently across different environments. Then you have scalability. Docker makes it easy to scale applications by adding or removing containers as needed allowing for better resource utilization and faster application delivery. The scalability makes it possible to handle increasing traffic and user demand. And finally, you have the ecosystem. Docker has a vast ecosystem of tools and services that makes it easy to build, test, and deploy applications. These tools include Docker Compose, which allows developers to define multi-container applications, and Docker Swarm, which allows for orchestration of multiple Docker containers across cluster of machines. In summary, if I talk about, Docker provides several benefits to the developers and IT professionals, including portability, consistency, efficiency, security, reproducibility, scalability, and vast ecosystem of tools and services. As a result, 
Docker has become an essential tool for building, testing and deploying applications on the cloud. Now let's move forward and learn about how to install Docker. So here we are going to discuss how to install Docker step by step. So first go on the docker.com. So I'm going to paste the link all over here. So which is docker.com. Okay. Then click on download and install. Okay. So here are your required operating systems. So if you have Mac, so you can click on all over here. I have Windows, so I'm going to click it here. And persons who are using Linux, they can click here. So suppose I have Windows, so I'm going to click all over here. Now, after this, you need to also see what are the system requirements is needed. Okay. For WSL2 backend, you need Windows 11, 64-bit, home or pro version, 21S2 or higher, or enterprise or education version, 21S2 or higher. Then for Windows 10, 64-bit home or pro, 21H1 build 19043 or higher. Then you also need to enable the WSL2 feature on Windows. Okay. And following are some of the basic requirements, which are 64-bit processor with second level of address translation. You have 4GB system RAM. Then you should also have BIOS level hardware virtualization support, which must be enabled in the BIOS setting. So these are the things which will be required. So now after this, you can click it all over here. And in this way, you're going to install the Docker. So as you can see all over here, our file is getting downloaded. And after it has downloaded, I'll open it. So as you can see all over here, guys, that I have opened my file and it's saying that Docker is setting up for a desktop. It's going to verify the package and let's see what other options are coming up. Okay, so as you can see, use WSL2 instead of Hyper-V. It's showing it's recommended. You can keep it as like this and click on OK. So as you can see all over here, it's unpacking all the files. So as you can see all over here, our installation is complete. Click on close and restart. And in this way, your installation would be completed. That was all for today's session, guys. I hope so, guys, you enjoyed our today's video on Docker tutorial. Just a quick info, guys. If you want to make a career in cloud and DevOps, then IntelliPad provides an advanced certification in cloud computing and DevOps by ENICT Academy IIT Roorkee. And it is taught by IIT Roorkee professors and industry experts. This course is designed to help you upskill and land in your dream job.